there. I'm Ellen and this is Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour. It's going to be, Maximum is going to be cross stitch, but it will not be an hour, although it might. Hard to know. I'm surrounded by a lot of stuff and I even have extensive notes, um, but still I'm going to forget stuff um, because it's been four months since my last floss tube and I forget how to do it again. Um, anyway, hi, how are you? Nice to be back nice to be able to have a visit and tell you about what I've been up to if you're interested and talk about that thing that makes us go mmm which is cross stitch it's better than the other thing that makes us go mmm which is ice cream anyway so uh, the last few months have been busy busy for me I've been um, designing, I've been stitching, I've been touring with the band. We had a little bit of, um, we had a few shows here and there where I uh, saw a couple cross stitchers and I've took, taken a trip to London, Ontario for a visit uh, with Caroline and I had a retreat, Jacob Palooza, um, where I saw so many wonderful friends, um, although we were missing a few. But yeah, it, it's been a, a great few months, no complaints at all. Um, I'm getting ready to go back on the road in a couple of weeks, so I thought if I'm gonna do a floss tube, I better do it now. Um, and I'm glad to, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be able to show you all my stuff, yay! Um, okay, so I'm gonna do the business stuff first, and then I'll get on to um, works in pro progress and finishes and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've got, I've had three new releases since my last uh, floss tube. The first one is uh, Eddie and Patsy. It's a reproduction of a, um, a just a stitched piece that I, I bought, not for a good price. I bought it at a retail place. Um, it was stitched on velvet and it, I'm thinking probably late 1900s. Hard to tell. It's, it's kind of in rough shape. When I took it out of the frame, that was a mistake because uh, I'll never get it back in because it's just torn around the edges. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can find the original and I'll, I'll pop in a little video here. If there was no little video there, then that means I don't know where I put the original. Um, anyway, so Eddie and Patsy, um, it's available at my website for uh, instant download, uh, MaximumCrossStitch.com. And it's also available as a print copy with the called for supplies at evertote.ca. The links will all be below. Shiloh, uh, cross stitch and X stitch MD has just finished it and she did a, a great job and it was fun to watch her progress. Anyway, so that one has been uh, a, a pretty good uh, success for me. I'm totally thrilled with people stitching the, the exotic birds. So thank you. If you purchased it, thank you. If you're going to, best friend. Um, I've had two more releases that uh, just came out in the last week or so. The first one is Choose Violets. It's a little pin cushion. Yee! This was finished by Gwyneth, who is Curling Stones and X Stitches on uh, Instagram. But yeah, she did a great job. And this is stitched on 40 count Night Owl from Roxy Floss Co. with Roxy Floss Co. threads. I did use one of Arasois to do the black work in here, the grill work, um, just because it's on a pretty high count. So if I was going to do this again on 28 or 32, even 36, I could probably just use the Roxy Floss, Floss Co. alternative. Um, but because it's on a high count, I had to use an Arasois just to get the to get the fineness of it. It's a 103. But yeah, it's really pretty. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. She did a great job. It's really squishy. But yeah, there it is. Choose Violets. That's available on my website. And uh, Caroline at Nevertote has the called for supplies except for the Averisois and the paper chart. My other release is a big sampler that I designed. Oops, sorry about the glare. This is the sale of the Zimmerman farm. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot, so I know, and I, it's not going to stop. And I'm a human being. I think. Anyway, um, this is the sale of the Zimmerman farm. This is 
uh, a sampler that I designed based on uh, an advertisement that was in a newspaper in 1861, 1861, uh, selling my great, great grandfather's farm, which was in Ontario, actually, not too far from where I live. Although I think right now it's, it's probably, uh, you know, a suburb or something. Um, I've never actually gone to see where it is. Anyway, this, this person here represents my great grandmother, Mary. She would have been 10 at the time. And uh, all the other little elements are elements that are in the advertisement. I'll insert a photo of the advertisement here. So I try to include the elements that were in the advertisement, including the text. Now, I don't think everyone's going to want to do a whole bunch of over one talking about my great grandfather selling his farm. So I included an alphabet alternative where you can personalize it here and you can just put an alphabet there. I'll put a picture of the alternative mock-up here. This is stitched on 40 count. I think this is 40 count Panettone from Roxy Flosco using all Roxy Flosco flosses. I do have a DMC alternative, but because Roxy Flosco flosses are over dyed, the, you won't get an exact match. It'll still be nice, but it won't be as sort of rich, especially the house and the, the greens. It's stitched all in, the model is stitched all in cross stitch over two, except for the text, which is cross stitch over one. And these flowers are done in Smyrna crosses, but it can all be done in cross stitch. If you do the alphabet alternative, it's fine for Ada stitchers as well. Anyway, so that's it, the sale of the Zimmerman farm. The chart also includes um, a small, which uses this motif and a little bit of the border motif and a pin cushion and a needle book, which is a repeat of this border, but solid. I haven't stitched it up yet because it, it will be epic. It's a, it's a stitch heavy needle book, but it will be gorgeous. It'll be lush. I gotta get around to doing that, don't I? Anyway, sale of Zimmerman Farm. The uh, PDF is available at MaximumCrossStitch.com and the paper chart and supplies are available at Evertote, evertote.ca. I'll put all the links for everything below. All right, those are my releases. I have two more releases coming up before Christmas, at least two. Um, I'll be on the road, so I'll probably just have to do quick little updates about them. Uh, and Caroline will be carrying both of those, so she'll, she'll have all the info too. So let's talk about works in progress. Um, when I went to see Caroline, I went out to London, Ontario to visit my friend Caroline uh, and just to spend a weekend and have a girls weekend and sit around in our pajamas and play in her workshop, which is always fun. I love going to Evertote workshop. It's She always puts me to work, but I don't care because it, you're just surrounded by gorgeousness. Um, yeah, so um, at that point when I was sitting there, they had just started carrying um, charts by the artsy housewife, Gigi, I think. Yeah, her name's Gigi. And I looked at her charts that, that, that Caroline was going to carry and I thought, oh, these are really good and I hate her because, you know, when someone does something that you wish that you had done and you know you can't, she is the real deal. The artsy housewife is... She's got such good stuff. So I started Golden Delicious. Here's a picture of the finished product. And here is my progress. This is with the Roxy Flosco conversion that Hannah at Everto did, Floss Boss Hannah. So there is my progress. And I can't wait to get back to it. Look at those apples. Oh my God. The design is just, it's just next level. And the, the one that everyone, everyone seems to be doing the, 
the eggs, farm fresh eggs. What is it called? It's called, it's so good. It's so unique. It's so different. I, I can't say enough good things about uh, the Artsy Housewife. So I definitely think that you should check her out. Check out her Etsy. Um, check out the ones that Caroline's carrying at Evertoe because the conversions are amazing and they're fun, logical stitches. Logical stitches. I like that. So yes, Golden Delicious. Oh, I'm stitching this on. Oh dear. Am I stitching this? This isn't Panettone, is it, Caroline? I think this might be. This might be the the one from Jacob Palooza. Anyway, I don't know the name of the linen. It is available at Evertoe at some point. Yeah, there it is. I'll put the name of the linen here. Okay. Gold and Delicious by the Artsy Housewife. Love it. Okay. Let's see. What's this? Oh. Ann Webb. My hands across the sea. So not what I would have thought I would love stitching, but I love stitching it. I am stitching this on 40 Count Albarium from Cedar River Linen and Design, Jody. And here is where I got to. Since the last time you saw this, I did more of the border. I think I've added the goat. I think I did quite a bit. I finished the alphabet, except for one place where I'm missing a... A 103. So I did quite a bit, even though it doesn't look like much. It's, it's, it's a lot of stitching in this. There's a couple of mistakes. Eh, what are you going to do about it? But look at that big old goat. You know he's chewing on tin cans. But classy tin cans, because it's hands across the sea. The colors in this are so pretty. Look at that alphabet. Look at it. Can I do a candies? <sighs> the linen is available at Cedar River Linen and Designs, www. And uh, the chart I got, I think I got it at Traditional Stitches. So check them out, traditionalstitches.ca.com. Links below. And web. Hands across the sea. Uh, what, what's this? Oh, this one. Il Fazzoletto by Modern Folk Embroidery. I took this one to Jacob Palooza. We went a few days early on the Wednesday. Uh, retreat didn't start till Friday, but a, a few of us arrived on the Wednesday to get some pre-gaming in and visiting, and that was amazing. And I took Il Fazzoletto to work on. Here's a picture of the finished product. And here's where I am. I got a little bit done, but I kept making mistakes. Look how big this is. What am I? I have no business working on something this big. No business. The colors are so subtle and elegant. I have no idea how I'm going to frame this. Probably something simple, gold maybe. But I did, I did a few of the letters and brought this down here and worked on those two little bands. Uh, can you, am I, are you showing? Am I, yes, I am showing them. Worked on those two little bands. Yeah, so this is another one of Jacob's genius reproductions. I think he said the original was stitched on something so incredibly fine. Um, like 60 or 80 count or something bananas like that. This is being stitched on 40 count. I think this is a Zweig, just a, a plain white Zweig art that I coffee dyed for two seconds. And I'm using the DMC for that. Uh, ba, 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 ba. What's this? Oh, this is... Um, do I have the chart here? Yes, this was the um, the stitch for, for the retreat, the Jacob Palooza. And I opted for the big, the big one, because that's who I am. And... Uh, Lots of people, Gwyneth Curling Stones and X Stitches is making leaps and bounds on this, but isn't this bananas? I saw the original and it's, it's just gorgeous. So here's how far I got. Not that far, 
but this was all retreat stitching. I haven't stitched on it since the retreat, so pretty good. And I'm doing eyelets for the big letters because I'm fancy. I'm a fancy lady, and I like doing eyelets. This is on 36 count speculas. Speculas. It's uh, the linen that was provided. It's beautiful. It's available at Evertote as well. And I'm using the Roxy Flosses that were provided and that it's, it is charted in. It's gorgeous. It is called Chuchi and Juchi. Chuchi, Juchi, Juchi. I'm North American. I can't be expected to speak more than one language or even make an effort. Juchi and Juchi. I think that's it. A mother and daughter. So it's gorgeous. This is available at Evertote. And the PDF is available. I think it's available from Jacob. Maybe not yet, but the uh, paper charts definitely. Definitely available at Evertote. Uh, early September, I took part in the BAP to School Sal that was being hosted by Lauren, the New Hampshire stitcher, who I kind of love kind of love Lauren, the New Hampshire Stitcher. I think she's very cool. And I'd like to hang out with her, but I'm old. And she's young. I worked on Sarah Brazier for the BAP to School, big ass project to school, where you were to work on or start a big project. And I thought this is a great opportunity for me to work on Sarah, which is a delight. And I was between working on models, waiting for some supplies. So I got I got a good amount done. I am doing this on 36 count. Uh, I think this is, it's a seraphim, but I can't remember winter white. Might be winter white. Does it say? No, it's a seraphim for sure. Um, and here it's 36 count and I'm using the DMC. Look, look. So I got almost all the way across the second row of pages. Oh, it's so good. Look at those satin stitches. They just glow. I mean, not that my satin stitches are good, just the colors and the, the fact that they're satin stitches makes them just, oh, I love this so much. I'm doing this in the called for DMC, except for I changed one blue that was a little bit too neon for me, so I just I just dulled it down a little bit. But yeah, it's gorgeous. Hands across the sea. This is uh, this was an exclusive Queen of the May from 2018. Uh, it's it's tough to find. I, I, there are a few charts here and there. Um, when I was in the attic at the attic a year and a half ago, they had a couple of charts, but I don't. I think it's out of print. Uh, yeah, you can't get it anymore, but you might be able to find it in the secondary market. It's gorgeous. Did you want to look at it for another 20 minutes? Because I do. I'm looking at my back, which is shameful. At Jacob Palooza, Jacob saw the back of something I was working on, and he was shocked. He, he couldn't even hide his dismay at my lack of care. All right, <clears throat> so Juju Juju Sarah Brazier. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for my works in progress. Um, I've been working hard on models and boring stuff. So, uh, ba ba ba. Oh, I have a new start that I'm starting today. I am starting. Actually, this is a restart because I have started this before. Sorry, my copy is coming. <gasps> yes. Prairie School or Christmas Village. I am starting this today, November 1st, 2023, with my friends, Emily, Eclectic, Eclectic Possessions, Emily, Stitch and May, Megan, Jody from Trixie Tricycle, and Gwyneth, Curling Stones and X Stitches, and anybody else who wants to join in. It's just P.S. P.S. Christmas Village Sal. I'm not sure if there's a 2023 in there or not, but it's just P.S. If you look it up, join in. It's fun. I am doing this on a color in cotton. 
I'm going to do it on a 36 count white tee by Color and Cotton. I have so many beautiful linens that I need to use. Um, and I'm using, I haven't finalized the colors, but I'm actually going to use Roxy Floss Co. Because she has some beautiful sort of, you know, how this is kind of rusty and primitive looking. And uh, Carrie has some beautiful, beautiful shades that will do this just fine. I'm changing the green up. This is, the trees are a little bit more of a blue green, the called for. So I'm going to use asparagus, which is my favorite Roxy green, which is not that one. I'll show you. I'll show you a green. Want to see a green? This is asparagus. Look how perfect that is with the variegation in it. I know that people say you're not supposed to mess with Prairie Schooler, but I want to stitch with the stuff I love. I like DMC. I use it all the time, but I can't not use that green. And I might brighten up the reds a little bit. Yep, so that's, I'm going to start that tonight. Models be darned. And um, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. This isn't a project bag that was made for me by Susie Vino. Yes, that Susie Vino. Star of stage and screen. That will be fun. I gotta put the money in my head. I'm going I'm going fast. This might be under an hour after all. Uh, Christmas Village, new start. Oh, I have some fully finished objects. Um which I'm going to insert video here. I finished, finally, I finally got framed Dutch Beauty and Rejoice Evermore. Dutch Beauty is by Permanent of Copenhagen. And I will insert my little video here. I did it on a 36 count porcelain, not porcelain, what is it? What is the one I used to always use? Zygart, just very, they're very, here, I'll put it here, uh, for, uh, 40, 36 count Zweigart uh, using the called for DMCs. And here is my finish, fully finished. I also finished, I also finished, I also finished Rejoice Evermore by Brenda Gervais. 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 I always get it wrong. Uh, with my needle and thread, I personalized it to put my grandfather, my maternal grandfather's birth and death years. And here's that. I stitched this one on a... 36 count porcelain by Roxy Floss Co. using Roxy Floss Co. colors. The color, the conversion for this is available at Evertoad. If you like my colors, you can get the threads and all that stuff from Caroline, Evertoad.ca. Link is below. Okay, that's it for all that. I have some haul and some gifts. Uh, as far as the gifts go, we got at the at the retreat, you know how people do. They just are so generous and they come around to your table and they just drop off things. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> oh, I pinched my finger with my glasses. Oh, that hurt. You know how people are so nice when they come around and to your table at a retreat and they, they drop things off for you. And I always tell myself I'm gonna write it down and I, I never do. So to all the people who dropped off things to me at my table, thank you. Lovely, lovely treats and prizes. Um, really appreciated them and they're all very sweet and you're all very good because I never bring anything to retreats because I'm bad. When I was on the road, uh, I met Valerie from Stitching in the Barn. She hasn't recorded in a long time, but I still will call her Valerie Stitching in the Barn. She came to one of our shows. She is a freaking delight. And she made this for me. This is a Beth Twist uh, pattern. And she made this, and look at the back. I'm a little bit 
bit sampler. I'm a little bit rock and roll. I'm actually more like vintage alt Celtic pop alt thing. But it's it's filled with lavender from her garden because you know she's an amazing gardener. But isn't that cute? She did a great job. And it was so nice to meet her. She's she's actually absolutely what you think she's gonna be. She's uh she's just lovely. Thanks, Val. Um Oh, also at Jacob Palooza, Jacob actually brought me presents. I don't know why. Maybe because I promised to give him an eternal organ. He gave me this, which is an Edgar Gorey book. Edgar Gore, right? Yeah. Edward. Edward Gorey. Because he loves his illustrations. Who doesn't love these illustrations? I, used to ask. I haven't opened it yet. And he also gave me some socks that says, love me a good poop. He knows me. I'm going to take these with me on the road and they're going to be my favorite sock. Thanks, Jacob. You're all right, I guess. My friend Megan, Stitch and May, sent me a pattern because she just thought I'd like it. Antique Folk Art Bird by... The Lady in Thread. Now, I've never heard of this designer before, but isn't that neat? Absolutely lovely. I'm not sure if this is a reproduction or or if this is an original design. It says 1815 on it, but who knows? This is copyright 2009, so might not be able to get it anymore, but isn't that nice? She just saw it and thought of me. Isn't she the best? Yes, she is the best. I, oh, I bought when I was at, at Jacob Palooza. When I was at Jacob Palooza this one time, I got the Modern Folk Embroidery, William and Katrin, or is it Katrin and William? Katrin and William, because I wanted to stitch this the minute I saw it. I'm going to stitch the whole thing, the whole Scottish thing. Maybe I'll give this to my niece. She's living in Oban, Scotland now. Uh, running a bookstore up there and she married a Scotsman and so maybe I'll make this for them and put their dates their wedding dates on it that'd be a good idea she doesn't watch the mind floss too she would never know it's based on an 18th century Scottish sampler so yes this is going to be a start probably in the new year so I got that I got that I also got um Laura's Frisian sampler I can't remember what it's called like the actual Set, like the actual stitcher, but it's a sampler that Jacob gifted to Laura. Laura brought it, Laura, um, Modern Mozart or half of Brenda and the Serial Starter. Laura brought the the original sampler to Jacob Palooza so that Jacob could have a look at it and talk about it. And while, during the retreat, Jacob charted it, because he's a magician. And they released it, Jacob and Caroline released it as a fundraiser for a church that is in Caroline's neighborhood, the workshop neighborhood. They're doing a lot of outreach for, for people who are really struggling. Um, a lot of homelessness in the area of Caroline's workshop. And so these people get, get clothes organized for them and like meals. I think it's pretty frequent and there's a lot of people who use that service. So all the money... The proceeds from the sale of the chart and the PDF are going to this this charity. And so uh, I couldn't not, because it's also a very darling sampler. I'll insert a picture of it here. I got the PDF from Jacob, but you can get the paper copy and the call for supplies at Caroline uh, Evertote and the link will be below. I got some linen because I need linen. I got 40 count pistachio. Mm. Something good's going to go on here. Here's something that's yeah, very good for it. 40 count pistachio, which I didn't have any of, which is strange. And I also got some 32 count French hen, which is my new favorite. 
Roxy Flosco linen. They were all, they were almost completely sold out of it when I went there, so I, I think Carrie had to quickly dye a whole bunch for the for the second attempt. I also got a a big chunk of forty count. Did I bring it up? Forty count French ham that I'm using. I'll show you, and I'll give you a very quick sneak peek. This is going to be a restart. I'm doing a um, a reproduction and a reproduction as well as uh, an adaptation of a, of a sampler. And I'll be doing that in the new year. And here's a quick peek. Oh my gosh, look at that Bordeaux. Ah. And this is on 40 count French hymn. So I, I'm actually going to go to the Evertote workshop, hopefully before I leave in two weeks. If not, it'll have to wait till the new year to talk to Carrie about getting some colors. Cause the ones that I chose, I ju I'm just not a hundred percent happy with. Um, so I need a little consult with the dye pot queen, the, the genius that is Carrie, Roxy Flosco, and uh, and get the get the perfect colors because this I'm gonna be honest, this was a real bitch to reproduce because the stitcher she she stitched over her stitches so you can't really tell what the color is like because it bl it's a blend of two wool colors that have faded the colors on the back are both great and both awful there's some peachy oranges in there that i'm not happy with but have to deal with because it's going to be a, a reproduction and she was a bit willy-nilly about about her um about her stitching it it looks like it's like the motifs, the border motifs are all supposed to be the same, but they're not. Only in only in certain spart, spot, sparts, only in certain sparts are the motifs the same. So yeah, she was a bit of a, a bit of a piece of work, but when it's done, it's going to be bananas. I'm very excited about it, but that's for the new year and it's on French Hen, which is gorgeous. Um, 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 um. Oh, I bought the uh, Modern Folk Embroidery 2024 Sal. Uh, I couldn't not. The colors are my favorites, dark blue and rich reds together. I, I'm a sucker for them. And so I am, I'm, I'm hoping to at least get a start on that in January. It's, it's too good to not. So I got that. And that is being sold as a PDF through Jacob and also at Evertote because they're friends. And, oh, I got this from Colleen Rebel Stitcher, who just had a very successful retreat. She hosted her first retreat, Sweta Weather, in Philadelphia. And I heard it was nothing but excellence. And I'm sure she'll be doing more in the future. I hope so, because she's a good egg. She gave this to me. Saw it thought of me I wonder why why do people just associate like they just associate me with poop I'm a class act you guys yeah so she got me this calendar of dogs pooping in beautiful places let's see what my birthday month is July is my birthday month so let's see what let's see where a dog is pooping oh that's nice right in the water good dog that's July Thanks, Colleen. I got this. I got this, and then I got this, and this one time I got this. Rose Heck made this for me. I sent her a chart that I wasn't gonna stitch, and so she made me this gorgeous pro project bag that's covered with advertisements for antique toilets, a game with the poop. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I haven't put anything in it yet because I was waiting. Oh, and look at inside. It's toilet paper rolls. I didn't even see that. So, yeah, so this is from Rose Heck. She made this for me. Thank Rose. I love it and I love the word poo. I love the word poo. I don't want to see pictures of poo. I don't want to hear descriptions of poo. I just think the word is funny. Poo. Okay. I think that's it. I think is 
is only like 33 minutes, 35 minutes. And I've gone through everything really quickly. Um, blah, blah, blah. Wife of the week. My wife of this, the, my, my, my wife of this, my wife of the week, this week is, she is prolific, a prolific stitcher. She is classy. She is sweet. She is funny. She loves dogs. And uh, she's just a gem. She's a multi craftual genius. I'm talking about Shiloh, X Stitch MD. She is my wife of the week because I love her so. And we will be wed, even though she just got married, I think, last year. And she's still sort of in that honeymoon phase. I think she's going to be in the honeymoon phase for a long time. But eventually, she'll realize that we should be married. And she will marry me. So, Shiloh, you're my wife of the week. Finally. My bit on the side. My bit on the side is uh, my little princess fairy from the prairie. Actually, she's from Alberta. She is a lovely and charming person, and I've met her a couple of times at Stitch North, and it's Michelle, who is Lola Girl X Stitches on Instagram. So, Michelle, with one L, you are my bit on the side this week. Wow. Okay, kids, I think that's it. I think... I think that's it. I know I'm forgetting stuff. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the in the comments below, and I'll answer them if I can. Um, yeah, it's nice to get caught up and show you what I've been up up to. I hope it's not hasn't been terribly boring, or and that it's been understandable. I've got lots of stuff coming down the pipe pipeline uh, for maximum cross stitch. So I hope you like what you see, and. Um, yeah, I hope that you're stitching on something that you like and that you're having fun and that you're safe and that you're happy and healthy and all that good stuff. So um, until we meet again, I wish you happy stitching and rock on. The road. Who's getting ready for the road? <laughs>